Hey Devon, uh, this receiver group is so deep and experienced. Not a lot of Utah experience, especially with those transfers, but uh, how do you view this group overall? Uh, maturity and confidence. I feel like this room has gotten a lot deeper. It's nice to have a, a rotation that we can trust and um, we're going to have a lot of guys rotating, so we're going to have a lot of fresh legs and be able to get those big plays going. No matter who the quarterback is, you do have chemistry with those guys. Yes, sir. Um, how important is, is are these reps in camp then? Uh, it's, the majority of the reps are always going to go to the guy that you know we're going to have to trust on Saturday. So we make sure we build that chemistry, make sure we understand what we have to do, do our jobs. Uh, don't worry about what the other guys are doing and just make sure we do what we got to do to be ready for Saturday. Where have right, you seen Thursday. the most improvement from both uh, Bryson and Nate from spring till now? Um, I mean, I can't speak because I don't play the position of quarterback, but from what I've seen, it's just more of a, a confidence standpoint being that vocal leader. Um, obviously, the quarterback, you're going to have to be the one that knows everybody's um, jobs and positions. Um, you have to be the one to lead us on the field, and uh, when times are getting tough, you got to be the one to pick us up. So I think from them, um, I've noticed a lot of uh, vocal leadership that's kind of been helping us, uh, you know, gain that trust and that confidence in them to be the um, whoever it is to be the one to step up on uh, Thursday night. As you prepare for Florida and looking at last year's tape, is that sting still fresh? Uh, you guys were so close to pulling off that victory. How much of a motivating factor has that been? Uh, it's always motivating. Um, I mean, we've been going up against the same guys uh, for the past few months against our own defense, and it's, it's nice to get that. Uh, that new team to go up against. So we're excited for the season. Obviously, um, we don't want to dwell too much on the past, but we understand that last year we kind of let that one slip. So um, we're grateful for the opportunity to you know, show the world that um, we're going to take this win for the, against Florida. How has Mikey Matthews impressed you most? Um, I believe he's just um, he's a big learner. He always asks a lot of questions. Um, he has the right attitude every time it comes to practice. Um, he has that mindset almost of like a guy who's been here for like three, four years. Um, he doesn't have that freshman mentality, but he just has that mentality that he's going to work and get better. And uh, no matter where he is on the depth chart, he's just going to give his best. How do what you and Mike? He, go ahead. What about what he does on the field? Uh, he, I mean, he's smooth with his catching. He has great body control, great hands, um, uh, very loose. Um, very elusive route runner. He's really good with his footwork, and um, he just makes those big plays. Despite his size, I think he, he plays like he's a six-foot receiver. How do you and Micah push each other? You guys have such, you know, you've been the go-to guy for different teams. How do you guys push each other? Um, I, I think we both have different skill sets, but we're also learning from each other. So he brings a lot of different um, characteristics and um, capabilities at receiver that I'm trying to learn from him, and he also learns from me. So, um, I mean, we talk a lot. We go over a lot of plays. Obviously, our, this offense is a little bit different from the offense he's used to running, so he's always asking me questions, making sure he understands he's up to speed. And um, I, I think he's going to be a big-time player for us. Regardless of how hard Cam is practicing, how big an impact does he make as a leader when he's out there? Uh, he's always going to be a leader. That's, what, that's how we see it. He's, that's why he's a captain. Um, all the guys always look to him as a big leader. So it, it's nothing new. How often do you get asked by people around town, who's going to be the quarterback? Who's going to be the quarterback? Does that happen a lot? I mean, I'm not well known like that, so nobody really <laughs> <laughs> asks me questions like that. But I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm guessing I'm being, I see on social media all the time, everybody talk about the quarterback uh, situation. So it's not my say. I'm just, you know, whoever's back there on Thursday night, I'm, we're going to go with that guy and we're going to trust him. So who's giving you the most fits on the defense? Most fits as in like? Like who's maybe <laughs> you have stood out and, and kind of you've seen something when mm -hmm. you have to go up against them? Um, I really like Miles and Zamaya. Um, obviously, Clark was one of my favorite matchups to go against last year. Um, like just how he was like that size, he was able to like you know be strong and be physical. But having two long corners like that, it, it's a lot different. Um, you have to take that into account. And they they both have different play styles. Whereas Zamaya is a lot faster and more quick with his feet. Miles is a lot more physical off the line. So um, it's it's a lot of good uh, eye candy for tape and. Um, you know, getting prepared to play against different corners because a lot of corners play differently, so it's it's a nice changeup. Kyle was saying that uh, Kyle was saying that the wide receiver room is a lot better this year uh, compared to last year, but like how much better is still kind of like a wait and see type of thing. What do you think has improved um, compared from last year to this year, and and why do you think it's still a wait and see in your opinion? Um, you know. I I always think we've always had really good receivers. Um, you know, we always try to do our best to do the most that we can do um, with the offense and how we do things. Obviously, we understand that it's a it's a heavy run game and it's a, a lot of passes to the tight end. So we're always waiting for our opportunity. But with a lot of the transfers and the new guys that we've had come up, it's it's one of those things. We have so many weapons in the receiver room now that it's going to have to start coming to the outside, and we're going to have to be the ones stepping up. Um, so I, I think I think the biggest thing is just we have guys that are ready, um, whether they. Their freshmen or their transfers, I just feel like a lot of the guys just have that confidence that they're willing to make those big plays no matter who it is in that rotation. Thanks,